Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Daisy for the console. We are talking about mouse and keyboard support for both PlayStation and the Xbox. We're going to go through how to turn it on and some basics and uh, some differences between the PC version and uh, the newly added mouse and keyboard support. Okay, so this does go for vanilla version 106, although now that I say it, uh, vanilla is pretty much all we get on the console currently, uh, this being 2020 January. Uh, there is no mod support as of yet. I don't know if they're going to in the future, but anyways, I digress. Um, so you can see here I'm actually doing this on the Xbox, but this does pertain to the PlayStation as well. Uh, I do not have the mouse and keyboard support on now, and this is how you start it. If you go to Options and then go over to Controls, you'll see Mouse and Keyboard at the top. Go ahead and Enable, and for the Xbox users, you're going to apply with the X button, which I believe is... Mm, is that square? Don't quote me on that. I don't have my cheat sheet. Isn't that terrible? I've owned a PlayStation. I can't remember what the X button translates to. It's basically west on the button map. Anyways, mouse and keyboard, apply, and now if you look, we can now see a cursor. Oh, baby. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. And this is obviously official. We're just going to go... I might get clapped. We're going to go ahead and pick... Okay, so it's worth noting that the picture of the mouse and keyboard obviously says that it supports mouse and keyboard, but here's a fun fact. If you join this server, you can still use a controller. Um, but just know that you'll be at, at a huge disadvantage <laughs> if other people are rolling around aiming at you with a mouse and keyboard. I assure you. Tactical cylinders up. Mm. So, here's the other fun fact. These are all official servers. If you take a character from, I don't know, 4299 and move it to a keyboard server, you will have the loot. And also, if you have loot from the mouse and keyboard server, you can then take it out back to 42.99, for example. Okay, so I'm hoping this server run was this 85.46. I'm hoping it's daytime so we can go through this. Um, yeah, so we'll see where we end up. I'm not really sure. I'm double carrying. Big surprise, right? We are on Livonia, which you saw earlier. Um, there are some subtle differences. I've been playing this back since shoot was the Arma 2 mod. Played it as a standalone. As you know, we do go back to the PC version of DayZ when we have new updates and whatnot. Uh, I guess it's a good time to plug. When, uh, By the way, when 107 hits, we'll be doing um, all the experimental stuff showing you guys what's new and what's going to be coming for us on the console. Okay, so here we are. I'm now using a mouse and keyboard. And if I go ahead and hit start on my controller, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, it now says mouse and keyboard enabled. But remember... You can still use a controller. I'm actually, I can hit B, and I'm still moving around. I'm using a mouse, or um, a controller right now. And now I'm going to put this down, and now I'm using Wasad and the mouse to look around. And let's see if, um, I heard the schema doesn't show up here, so let's go take a look. I've only done this briefly, but it'll be interesting to compare this to the PC version of this. Okay, I'm going to hit Escape, and then uh, Controls. Yeah, see, it still shows the Xbox. Well, okay, so let's go through some of the basics then. Uh, w walks forward, S goes backwards, w or A goes left, D goes right, and that's a strafe. Tab opens your inventory, and I believe... Oh, server restart in four minutes. Boo! Uh, you know what's crazy? Um, does our tilde... Oh, what? That's crazy. Okay, so tilde, which is next to the number one there, not on the, num not on the numerical keypad. Um, that actually brings up your hotkeys. That's crazy to see that on a, on a freaking console, baby. Okay, so here's another thing I wanted to try out. When you're talking in-game, was it caps lock? <gasps> oh, it is. Okay, so it's caps lock. You, I think you can, can you double? Okay, so that's interesting. So on the PC version, if you tap and hold or double tap caps lock, it'll actually keep it on. It's interesting to see that that's not enabled here. So that definitely tells you that there's some subtle differences. Uh, but I am using a mouse and keyboard. I'm using the W and ASD and the mouse to kind of move around. And again, if you'd like to alt look, which would be the bumper looks for the controllers, you'd hold alt and then you just move the mouse. And if you can see, my body's facing forward, but my head's pivoting. So it's very handy. Um, let's see. So focus is if you push the mouse wheel in every, well, pretty much every mouse these days has a mouse wheel and then it's if you push in the wheel it zooms in so that would be mouse three I believe that's your focus um, let's go ahead and mess with they drop this real quick now I'm all nervous we got three minutes I'm all pressured dude 
So we hold that down. Let me go ahead and draw this weapon. Um, I believe I have it hotkeyed, which is four now. Um, I'm holding right mouse button. And then if I push in the mouse wheel, which is mouse three, it does the focus. Uh, crouch is C. And then holding your breath would be left control. So hopefully that makes sense. I actually didn't know that the schema wasn't showing up, so maybe we'll have to do another one of these later to kind of show uh, what all the buttons are. Hopefully we cover all the basics so you guys know what's up. If you'd like to have your overlay disappear, you hold the tilde button. You hold the tilde button again for it to reappear, and if you'd like to see your hotkeys, you can just tap tilde once, and it'll show you one, two, three, four, and I think all the way up to nine, possibly ten slots if you have the proper equipment. Uh, one quick thing here, if I just hit tab to open inventory, you notice there's no loot Tetris, um, basically showing you not only the slot numbers, but you have to fit them in places, which, as a side note, is good for us because you can fit things like tires in bags that aren't normally equipped to fit tires. Certain long rifles or long items you can fit in bags that don't typically work. So you can just drag them over. I believe you can double click, yep, just like, or it equips. Bring it over to the side. Oh wait, I don't have any more room, so I can't do that. What am I doing? So you can bring things over to the container. And we are dealing with desync here, so hopefully we don't have... Eh, I think that might be a thing right now. Is it doing it? Yeah. Oof. It's a big oof. Desync's going to hurt. Um, you just twirl things up and down, pressing left mouse button. Mouse wheel goes up and down. We can zoom the character back and forth, which is interesting. We don't have access to that on the other... Uh, versions of this. Now, here's one thing I wanted to try real quick before this thing goes off. If I hold caps lock for speech, you can see my icon going in the left. Oh. Oh, man. Did I pick that up in time? I sure hope I did. My goodness. Well, we'll wait here for a second and we'll come back. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, okay, maybe I don't... Mm. I guess we'll come back to it. <laughs> we, might <have> to <laughs> we might have to shoot this again. It's okay. Let's see what else has changed here real quick. Quick slime. That's so funny that it doesn't show that. Although, thinking about how this game's been implemented on the console, it kind of makes sense. Messages, HUD. Field of view, language, audio, music, volume, controls. Interesting. Okay. Aim assist. Using a wireless controller. I kind of want to turn that off. VoIP. That thing's going to be so loud, isn't it? <gasps> oh! It does have it. <gasps> That's so useful. Okay. Let's see. Zeroing sight page down. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, so quick slot is the same. You know, size gesture. I'm just trying to see if there's a difference between uh, change perspective, enter in the number pad, eye focus, middle mouse button, zoom in on optics, click mouse wheel up, zeroing, page up, page down, gotcha, gotcha. Walk modifier. Is there. Oh, shut up. Walk or run toggle. <gasps> Oh, yes. Left control. Double tap left control. Oh, please. Oh, no, no. Is it? Walker run toggle. Okay. I thought that was auto run. I get, ex <laughs> I get excited. Change firearm mechanism. Razor lower. Raise modifier. What? Oh, that's for, okay, that's for the weapon. I'm just looking at stuff that looks so weird. Text chat, what? Headlamp, free look modifier. I wonder if we can get into cars and stuff like that as well. Interesting. Wow, okay, for normal hit. Hold shift for heavy. I, mmm, they changed these. No kidding. That's very useful. So I'm wondering if this actually <laughs> if this actually changes with the um 
like if you turn on mouse and keyboard. Okay, let's see if we can't get back into it. Okay, so we're returning back to the server restarted on us mid, uh, I guess, tutorial. We're in the queue now. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh. So we're still we're still waiting here. Hmm. Gonna have to modify this one. Okay, fifteen seconds. Sweet. I'm hoping we can find a city to walk into real quick. Mm. Okay, so it looks like we've returned from the restart. I did I did find something quite useful here. Check this out. So I held G to drop that. Um, I hit tab to open that up. So check it out. If I hit escape and go to tutorials, check this out. Key bindings show up. What? I'll leave this up for a minute while I kind of talk about this. Um, okay, so if you're looking at the left column, it says walk or run toggle. That's not auto run just so you know. Um, some of the more useful ones, holding breath is left control. Um, faster, slower, what is the MVs is hold L, and then headlamp would be just tapping L, because uh, you no longer have to deal with the wheel, which is nice. Um, aiming down sights, left shift, we covered that one earlier. So here's some basics. Uh, the lean is Q and E, and changing stance is C. So those are some basics. That's kind of nice. I, I found this completely by accident. I thought that crazy loud video was going to play while we did it. Anyways, okay, so back to the game. Um, and again, mouse and keyboard enabled at the upper right-hand corner. So I'm hoping we can get to a town to see how well it is with performance, because as you know, one of the major things uh, we deal with on console is dealing with performance hits uh, in, in heavy areas. Now, I should say and this is for any generation, if you're talking PlayStation or the Xbox, if you're talking about OG uh, gear. I know it's very bad right now for 106, uh, January 2020. And uh, things that can help if you have an OG box of any kind, if you can somehow uh, get access to an SSD and use it on the machine, whether it's Xbox or PlayStation, do it. It's going to help. Um, I know better hardware like the Pro and the X are going to help the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, which are basically the comparable uh, builds for that. Ooh, this is super sensitive. That's crazy. Um, I would say go ahead and do that. Um, but if you don't have that option, something secondary would be to stick an SSD. That's going to help a lot. Wow, that is super sensitive. It's okay, though. I mean, like I said, I'm used to uh, playing on the PC. Watch, I, I say that and I get smoked. Ooh, it's super jumpy. I think we're in the top of Belua ish area. I'm just trying to see how fast I can move around and if it lags a lot. It's actually not bad. This is up there with um, like PC stuff. Right? Like I run a 2080 NVIDIA. 2080 Ti. Um, so it runs quite smooth. Obviously it's not as smooth as that, but I mean this is if you're talking about like a gaming machine, it's not bad. Again, we're not in a city yet. But still, it's not bad. F is the action, by the way, which is nice that it's showing the contextual menu like it does on PC. Uh, okay, so here's one thing I wanted to try. So the comms. On the PC, you can toggle comms by double tapping caps lock or double tap holding. Doesn't work. But here's something you can do on the PC that I'm wondering if we can do here that I haven't tried yet. So if you're holding this, can you change? Oh, you can. <gasps> So, okay, if you're looking at the microphone, I am now whispering, that's normal chat, and this is now yelling, and that increases the distance of speech, which would be so handy if we had that toggle, but we don't currently. So, wow, that's interesting that that toggle's in, but the other stuff isn't. I wonder if we go into another server, if we leave yelling on, if that stays. Yeah, because that's something I really miss, that they added a while ago, and it's just a shame it's not in the button schema currently. So yeah, desync is still an issue. It looks like the same kind of desync we have about moving things from inventory is going to be about the same. So really the inventory shuffle right now is going to feel kind of 
I don't know, not like an improvement, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and try to switch this real quick and see how good this is. I've gotten so used to using the console transfer. I mean, that's pretty quick. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Once you get used to the, to the way the columns and stuff work for a controller, for Xbox or PlayStation, I think it goes quite well. So pushing in the middle mouse button to do the whole zoom in. I feel like the performance is pretty decent, so let's maybe go over to the town and take a look. I'm hoping I can show you guys this and not get clapped. As you can see, I'm, I'm actually playing on a real server. Um, there you go. 8546, Livonia. Try a little bit of this. Okay, so G to drop. Oh, good, good guess. And then tab to open. Not too bad. Let's try maybe clapping some more zombies and see what that's like. Or even just aiming. I might try ripping a few shots just to see what's up. Let's try it. Yeah, like it does. It feels a lot like PC, to be honest. Again, I'm not saying it's exactly like it. There's definitely some differences. Easy. Any PC players will start crawling up my ass about that shit. You're like, you're like you say what? My aim is still potatoes, so don't worry about that. I'm just not used to how fast that is. And then hold R to reload. The sheer fact that we have access to more things, that's great. Um, let me see if I can bust out. There we go. We're going to handle the zombie while I talk out this next point here that occurred to me. So a lot of you, if you've made vehicles recently, especially on Livonia, you'll know that when you enter a vehicle, you automatically drop what's in your hand. Uh, for people that are loot goblins like us, uh, that hurts my feelings a lot. But it turns out it's actually not taken out of the game. It's the button schema that is uh, causing that to happen. And I bet you anything, because the buttons are now separated into the keyboard, I bet we can now enter vehicles uh, with things in our hands, as you can enter ladders with things in your hands. So um, I bet that's back for the same reason why we can do this to our speech. Look at that. Yelling, whispering, normal speech, yelling normal or sorry yelling whisper normal oh, it's so cool that we can change that and I wonder if I change it to yelling if it stays like that on, on another server okay so we're gonna go back real quick and pick up the sea chest and jump to a normal server and see what that does with mouse and keyboard enabled it should deny us or it should just disable the mouse and keyboard I'm actually not really sure how that's gonna work I really don't want to leave my stuff behind Yikes. Oh, I guess it's a good time to say we do have community servers for both PlayStation and the Xbox. Sorry, I'm so herky-jerky. <gasps> Is it a base? What? We do have community servers for PlayStation and the Xbox, uh, both Chonaris and Livonia, that are open to everybody. Um, it is Boyfriend Squad, B-O-I, Friend Squad, all one word. Um, or you can just look under B and search for North American servers and you'll find it. Um, there's no hashtag, although uh, if you're looking for any of us in the Boyfriend Squad, you can search hashtag Boyfriend Squad, B-O-I, on social media and the Xbox, or, jeez, or YouTube, <laughs> and you can find all three of us. Ooh, I dude, this is juicy. Wasn't expecting this. Let's see what's over here. Tab. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Okay, I do like the fact that we can mouse wheel through these things. That's really nice. Just for that alone, that makes it worth. Because that's the one slowdown um, I think is really hard to, to get with. Anyways, um, yeah, so we have the community servers. They're open to everybody. Uh, the Discord has the global chats for both the PlayStation servers and the Xbox. If you're interested in joining the Discord, uh, the link for that is at the very bottom of this description in this video. Um, it should be at the way, way bottom. It should say Discord. And ooh, we also have a Daisy subsection there. That's for all members. If you're on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation, um, we welcome you there. Um, I just ask that you please respect other people's platform. It is not a short arm inspection for people. I know some people like to come in and go, blah blah blah, this platform, blah 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 that. You'd be like, no no no, we're talking about Daisy. Relax, baby girl. So yeah, it's for everybody. Um, again, that's up in the Discord. And I do post daily Daisy content in my Daisy highlights playlist, so daily videos at least. 
Uh, again, the link for the playlist is also in the description down below. I should also have the cards boop, boop, in the upper right-hand corner uh, going on uh, while this video has been happening. And hopefully, I, if I'm smart enough, I queued it up when I just said that. Am I getting stalked? Um, <laughs> I'll also link other videos there. Uh, side note, um, on Daisy related, but open world survival related. Oh, I want to get in on that. Survival related. Rust is coming from current generation of console. Dude, I want to get in that. And we will be doing... Ooh, I want to get in there so bad. Do I, I do have a shotgun. Let's do this. All right, let me finish this thought. <laughs> My brain is scrambling with the action. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing Rust uh, very soon. And actually... Oh, cool. I actually put it in there. Nice. Should we go in there and get this? Uh, so we'll be doing some Rust videos, uh, daily Rust videos, along with our daily DayZ videos. So we're going to have Rust in day or er, a Rust and a DayZ video every day. So uh, another great reason to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are currently a subscriber, then I appreciate that. Thank you. Is my phone ringing? Uh, thank you for that. And if you did find this video useful, be sure to drop a like. And we'll be doing more Daisy stuff here in the future, especially with the 107 update. As soon as the 107 update hits us on PC, because uh, it often goes to PC first, uh, we're going to cover all the 107 changes as soon as they hit, pertaining to us here in the console uh, vanilla land, right? Official servers. Us, uh, us console folks. Alright, so this covers the mouse and keyboard. And yeah, hopefully you guys found it useful and we'll catch you guys in the next video. I love your bush. Ooh. I'm scared now. I don't know whether to drop this or keep going. I want to go in there and fight, dude. I love Livonia so much. It's so awesome like that. I also kind of want to steal those nails. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!